right, so something a bit different here. We'll take a look at some parts that were sent to me by uh, someone in, from Nova Scotia, actually, that uh, he had a police charger, and he took this stuff off from it. He had no use for it, and he was kind enough to send it to me. So a huge thanks to Chris for sending these out. And we're kind of starting reverse here because this is not what they looked like when uh, when I got them in the box. So we're going to kind of take the opportunity here to show the restoration process or cleaning of the Unity Spotlight. Side note, these are Whelan mirror beams or the caps for the mirror beams. So you put these over the mirror and you can attach the light head over here. It just gives it kind of a uh, flat surface to mount. So we clean these up. We cleaned up the spotlight and now it is in more or less of a uh, working condition. We may still have to get a new shaft there, but uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you how we cleaned it up. Okay, so we're going to attach this here new wire. I'm going to unstick this guy. And there we are. Try and get the uh, solder out with it. And you can see there's a little ridge over here, which is where the wire wants to seat, like that. And then it's going to go into the hole. So there we go, nice clean weld. Trim off the Exus. Make sure it seats on the little holder there. And then we can uh, reaffix the cap. There is a screw up here, I forgot to mention, take that out, this whole thing comes free like that, which gives you access to clean up uh, this guy here. You could even have stuck this in uh, your helping hands and it would have held right there. As you can see this is the springy bit that contacts the end of the shaft goes in here and you want to make sure that's all clean and not chewed up or gummed up you can even hit it with a little bit of sandpaper if you uh, if you want to and you can kind of take like a q-tip or something and clean all that shit out and spray some uh, white lithium grease in there this one's not all that too bad you can kind of see the key right there it grabs the inner center shaft and spins it around. So put this guy back, not too tight because we are threading into plastic. Give that a little spritzy. show you how to uh, move the head post. We have it all nice and uh, tight here in the vise with a cloth because we don't want to scratch the shit out of the uh, chrome here. We're going to whack the little pin over here. Get that lined and sharp whack and we can see it coming through. It's in there nice and good. So anyways, okay, so now that that's out, we are going to take our uh, channel locks or robo grips or whatever you want and turn this to get it out. We can frame, yeah, okay. Again, ever so carefully so that we don't scratch it up too bad. So, I have to pry it. See, that's where the pin holds it. Kind of get it in one hand and 
twist her out and there we go here's the gear set okay so we can kind of see how this is all held together we have the center pin is where the 12 volts is applied we have the spring of a thing in there and we have the gear with this plastic collar which we can remove and clean around and there's a little white nylon ring supposed to be in there so we can clean him off make sure the nylon ring is in there Now sometimes they're really gummed up and you gotta take a little pick and clean each and every little gear out. This one's not too bad. I'll clean off the pin. Stick her back in. So I think that part's pretty good. We can put the spring back in there. And that's what seats this guy. So that's how it all goes together. And you can see that the pressure against this on the inner shaft is what pokes them out there and keeps tension so that part's good Oops. so to get uh, this guy out pretty much you want to carefully push this shaft in and he should come out the end here and we can I don't know if you can see the C clip over here it's a little C clip that we can pop off and that will take the gear out all right, now to put it all back together. Uh, and this whole thing goes right back side of here. Stick our shafts back in there. So, kind of got to push that center. We don't want to bust it too bad. So push in there. Now we can put this in so that it has something to, uh, to sit on. Make sure our pin sits straight. It's a little hard to line up. Get it as best as we can. And this would be a good time to use a piece of galvanized pipe or something. So I use this for seating bearings. And put her up there and give her a whack. And it's gonna wedge that thing back in where it belongs. Okay, so we give it a whack, it's in there. Clean this guy out, make sure there's no gooey in here. And we will take our little pin that's been bathing in CLR, clean that off. And then we will reseat that spring pin in there. Okay, now we can continue spraying in the Light lithium on the gear. There we are. Cleaned it all out, greased it nicely, and we can put the o ring back in and pop it right back in there and replace the screw. Alright, as for the mounting bracket and shaft, like I said, it looked like somebody went at it with a pair of pliers, unfortunately, and uh, undid where this thing was supposed to be welded to the shaft. The bracket's fine, nothing wrong with it. This, uh, I don't know what we're gonna be able to do with this. I'm gonna try and clean it up, and I'm gonna match it to mine that I have on my car. So we need this bushing to be in the correct spot relative to where this notch is to give it the correct uh, degrees of rotation. Anyways, you can see somebody really went at it with a grinder. I don't know why anyone would do that, but that's what they did. So the correct thing to do would just be chuck this and replace it with a new one, but uh, we'll try and save it here. We would pretty much just put the shaft back on, tighten it with the grub screw over here, and that would be it. So you can see this is a perfect example of what it's not supposed to do. Whereas if you compare it to the, some of the other more universal ones that fit in many, many different vehicles, you have the bushing that does rotate around here and this has kind of like a split clamp and then you set it uh, according to what vehicle it's going to be on but as I say this will have to be uh, soldered back on there and one last step was I just hit these with the uh, 
wire brush to clean them up. These are actually quite nice uh, AMP connectors. But, uh, yeah, remove any surface corrosion from those. Okay, so here I have a nice new bulb for it. Type that takes the uh, little H3 bulb. Uh, attach the <coughs> light head to the head post. Actually, the grounding wire is supposed to go between the nut and the uh, star washer. And then we just slip on the power connector right onto that center post there. 